And it's been one week since the Federal Reserve announced it was cutting interest rates for the first time in four years. The benchmark federal funds rate was cut by half a percentage point, so now it sits in the 4.75 to the 5 percent range. That rate had been in the five and a quarter to five and a half percent range since July of last year. And since last year, inflation has been dropping. But while the interest rate was cut bigger than expected, most U.S. mortgage holders won't see any benefit since 90 percent of borrowers have fixed rate loans. So who will this cut impact and how soon will you start seeing results? For that, we turn to Anne Villamil, professor of econ economics at the University of Iowa. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Well, someone might see the biggest impacts of these cuts are home buyers, but what can they expect to actually feel from this? Well, interest rates uh, have already been declining since August. So that's good news. Uh, mortgage rates were a high of 7.8%. Uh, they're currently down uh, nationally to 6.1% for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage and 5.5% for 15-year fixed rate. Uh, so that's, that's good news for people who wish to buy houses. Uh, interest rates are still higher than I'm sure most people would like, certainly relative to where they were uh, just a few years ago before we started the increases, uh, but they are clearly on their way down and that will affect people who wish to buy uh, new houses, but even mortgage refinancing is up 20% last week. So many people have low interest rates. Clearly they are not going to want to finance, refinance or potentially even move. But for those people who had higher interest rates, uh, there is progress in terms of those rates coming down and maybe even some people switching from fixed into adjustable mortgages. What about outside of home buyers? Let's let's talk about rates for car loans. So car loans as well uh, should be coming down. Uh, those are more closely tied to the 10 year Treasury note. Uh, so they should absolutely uh, be coming down. Sometimes there are incentives from manufacturers for uh, rates or leases, and the car market is softening a bit. So it certainly may be the case that, that those rates are coming down even more. Well, this is something that I know a lot of my friends and family are concerned about. How about credit card loans? How will these interest rate cuts affect those? Again, all interest rates should be coming down, and it's very clear that the direction of interest rates is down. I think one of the questions is the pace of the decreases. You know, how quickly will they will they come down? Uh, but those will come down. Uh, they, of course, depend uh, as all rates do, but especially those on uh, on your credit history. So uh, that's an important consideration as well. Well, Anne, all of this is happening, and we are just 41 days away from the election. Do you anticipate these cuts making any sort of impact to the point that it might even sway some voters? Well, in generally, everyone has been waiting for lower interest rates. They are already here. Remember, interest rates moved before the Fed cut because the Fed telegraphed that it was going to cut rates and markets reacted. And it's also uh, provided information called a dot plot about its intent to continue to lower rates. So that certainly helps the economy. Uh, that should help consumer sentiment. However, just today, there was a report on consumer uh, sentiment from last month. In other words, how people were feeling in August before the rates had really uh, kicked in in earnest. And consumer sentiment was actually down. Uh, people were concerned about the weakening job market. Uh, and the unemployment rate is 4.2%, which historically is a good uh, figure. But they were concerned about job openings tightening uh, and number of new hires declining a little. And they continue to be concerned about, about cost of living. But again, this was a survey done before the rates were cut. So I think there continues to be a lot of uncertainty about an economy that continues to change. The huge driving forces, inflation, are good. There's going to be a new inflation number this Friday. I think markets and economists are expecting it to, to be good. Economic growth is solid. Uh, and the employment market is softening, but still strong. So I think we're just going to have to see uh, how 
consumers feel as they process all of this new information. Yeah, certainly a huge voting point for a lot of people across this country. And thank you so much for your time today and your expertise. We appreciate it. All right. Bye bye. Thank you. And for you guys at home, don't forget our Quad City financial expert, Mark Gravicheski, joins GMQC every Monday morning to talk about how economic happenings could impact you and your family.